everyone. So we are talking about V4, TV for Education, searching. Now, don't worry about the books or the resources that are here. We'll talk about that in another video. However, we're just going to talk about searching in TV for Education. So what you need to do, you must be logged in. If you're not logged in, you will not be able to play any video. You'll be able to search, but you can't play. So log in, okay, and uh, put your username. Once you are logged in, you'll get the TV for Education button come up there. If you're not logged in, you're not going to be able to search. So all you do is you click on TV for Education. Okay. And what's going to come up now, TV for Education now has amazing AI, artificial intelligence. And it's based on your profile. So it's very important you fill in your profile. And where do you do it? Well, it'll either pop up if you've never done it before. And if you want to change your profile, you click up here and you go into my interests, and you tell us about yourself. Tell us I'm a primary school, I also teach secondary school, I have higher education, I'm interested in these subjects, or I'm not interested in these subjects. That's all you do. And then from then on, every time you do a search, the recommendations will come up based on your profile. But not only that, what it's also going to do, it's going to show you videos that other teachers around Australia are using in their school in those particular subject areas, okay? But when you go in, what's going to happen as well with AI, artificial intelligence, it's going to recommend what's trending in the multimedia digital space in schools around Australia. War of religion. Remember the war that's going on now in the Middle East, 50 years of the Sydney Opera House because it's the Opera House birthday. Okay, technology that changed the world. So if there's a whole bunch of discussions going on in the news about technology and how it's impacting our life and impacting our education, that's going to come up. And these are going to change. You can just simply ignore all these banners, but we're telling you, letting you know this is what's going on. So you can come up here and you can search for science. That's all you need to do. And never assume that that's all that's there. You can scroll and scroll and scroll and all the video. Never assume that's on, uh, That's all. Just keep scrolling. And that's how you search in TV for Education. Okay. You can play the videos. You can add them to your private collection. You do them there. Okay. And you can play them. But that's on another video, uh, another training video that we're going to do. So that's how you search. You can come in here. Maths. You can add more than one word, of course. Okay. You can search by channel. Just by checking, uh, clicking the channel. You can search by subject area. Just filter down to that. So it's very, very, very powerful. And there's a lot of AI. So you don't have to worry about what are other teachers using? The system will recommend to you. And because you've gone ahead and put in your interests, guess what? About every just seven to 10 days, you'll get sent an amazing newsletter of the most highly used AI videos in the, these subject areas by other teachers from around Australia and also at your school. That's how powerful searching is in TV for Education. <laughs>